Hi guys and welcome to this week's Alakazam video blog. Hello, Bella. You all right? How are you? Yeah, I'm good, mate. You? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Welcome once again to the Alakazam video blog. Uh, I am joined, as always, by Harry. How are we guys at home? Yeah, I'm sure they are very good. I bet they're, they're sitting there with their cups of teas mm. and their biscuits. Yeah, can you actually send in where you guys watch the vlogs? I'm actually mm. intrigued. Yeah. You watch it, are you at the office right now just with your, with your headphones on? Or are you chilling at home or what's going yeah. on? Yeah, and indeed, if you are drinking tea or coffee or eating said biscuits, then yeah. a picture of biscuits would be good. Yeah, I'll tell you what. Because we like our food. A picture of your setup, you know? Yeah. Like, if you've got food there, because I know... With the Academy, someone sent in a picture and they had a curry on the go, they had a beer, the Academy streamed on their TV. Bloody amazeballs. Yes, uh, we are interested in food pictures. Mm. We are foodies, yeah. aren't we, Harry? 100%. Yeah. yeah, so anything you want to send in, then that would be lovely. Mm. Um, or even food packages. <laughs> that would be good, a little unboxing on the vlog. Yeah, wow. Yeah, that would be yeah, amazing. Really um, so, uh, Harry, uh, we've been taking a look at some different things uh, this week. Yeah. Um, last week was a busy week. Uh, this coming week um, will be even busier uh, because we have um, lots of things happening, lots of new products that we're making up. Bloody, uh, yeah. A lot of new so, stuff. So, uh, you guys have been purchasing uh, Roll um, by the bucket loads. Um, so, they have been selling extremely well. Uh, you still have time to pre order it. Um, it's released on Monday. By the time you see this, it'll be out on release. Um, so, please check out what everybody else is talking about uh, and you will not be disappointed. Mm. It is absolutely amazing. Uh, for any of you that saw the live on Tuesday, you would have seen Dave performing, uh, performing role and answering some questions. It is seriously a brilliant, brilliant working piece of magic. Mm. So, they're available to pre order and will be released on Monday. Yeah, it's so easy. And, guys, just um, I don't know whether this point comes across on the trailer or not, but you can get someone to roll imaginary dice in their head. Mm -hmm. So you don't even have to add dice with you. You can say, just roll three dice in your head, which is so powerful because it's like you're just tapping into a little brain. Little brain. There we um, go. Yeah, amazing. It is wicked, guys. Check it out. It's so easy as well. Isn't it? it is amazing. Um, and we've got lots of new products planned uh, that are mm. coming up. Uh, lots of uh, academies that are coming up as well. Yeah. So, um, actually, whilst we're talking about academies, mm. uh, if you haven't checked it out already, uh, we do have the amazing uh, US magician Kanaya Harbottle uh, coming to the academy uh, next Wednesday, the 25th of September. Oh. Uh, it promises to be an amazing night. Uh, he is. I would say one of the top five coin magicians in the world. Uh, he's truly amazing with uh, with coins. Uh, and I hear he's gonna be doing some card magic as well. Oh. So I'm gonna be looking out for that because uh, I've never seen him do a card trick. Really? No. He's got a bloody cool name, isn't he? He has That's got a cool such name. a cool name. Um, I, I know how amazing the coin magic's gonna be, so I have no doubt that the card magic is gonna be just as amazing. Mm. Um, so check that out. Uh, that is currently at the early bird price, so you can get it at half price. Uh, once it's filmed and it's up, uh, it'll go back up to the full mm. price. Uh, so why not take advantage of the deal um, and yeah. be a member of the Academy next Wednesday? And at the minute, I swear, it's, how much is it at the minute? Uh, I think it's like about £13. Yeah, it's £12.48. I was just making sure that you said around the same number in case I got it wrong. £12.48. Yeah. British pound. Yeah, that's a bargain. That's and judging by good. other Academies as well that have gone on for, you yeah. know, a good four hours or so, you are going to get your money's worth. Mm. So uh, I have no doubt about that. And yeah. obviously, if you guys want to get into, into coin stuff, uh, the Academy is a great place to go because you can ask questions. Because I know some coin DVDs, if you if you struggle, you can't always get a... No, and I, I mean? and he is a very, very good uh, tutor. Mm. He's great yeah. at explanation. So you can ask questions, stuff. look at different angles. Do you know what I mean? You can really go in depth, and that is why the live aspect is amazeballs. But if you can't make it live, they will be in your account anyways. Mm. So, mm, I know you've been checking out some uh, some sweet things. Oh, I have. Yeah. Recently. See what I did there? Yeah, I, I did see what you thought. Okay, we'll come back to that great. in just a second. Um, so, uh, the sweet FA deck. Yeah, it's a... Uh, it's quite a funny one actually, right? Because when Dad performed it to me, I thought, yeah, that's really good actually. It was funny. Uh, but then we come in on Saturday um, and Dad was performing it and he performed it on Lily and her reaction was really good. And it just shows you that something, when you, when it's performed to you, you might not take it in as much. Whereas when you see it done to someone else, you think, bloody hell, that's actually really good, isn't it? Yeah. 
Um, so I haven't seen this as yet, so you're going to perform oh. it for me, yeah? All right, yeah, I'll give it okay, a go. Okay, so let's take a look at Harry performing the Sweet FA deck. Andy. Hello. You all right? Yeah. Um, you've been working very hard lately. Oh, right. So you. I'm going to give you a chance for a little prize. It's a little present from me. Okay. okay. Uh, now, we're going to do it in a, quite a weird way because not only are the prizes super, super cool, we've got a, a red carpet premiere ticket, a New York shopping spree, a afternoon tea at the Ritz. Bloody hell. Right. I didn't know that was in there. All inclusive holiday to Barbados. Lovely. Brand new fitted kitchen. Oh, you know what I mean? So yeah. on top. They're good prizes, but we're going to do it in a weird way because I'm going to get you to select a playing card um, and then the playing card you select, you'll get the corresponding prize on the back. Sound okay. Good? Yeah. Right. So uh, first of all, we've got red cards and black cards. Yeah. Which ones do you want to use? Uh, black. Black. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so uh, you've got uh, clubs and spades. Yeah. Which ones do you want to use? Uh, spades. Spades. Okay. Remember this yeah. is prize is resting on this okay yeah. so you want to use a spade so you've got uh, odd spades and even spades i just want you to remove either one the odds or the evens okay i am going to remove uh, the evens the evens okay yeah. so they're gone yeah. uh, you're left with the odds now yeah. all right so you've got the ace three five seven nine jack king yeah all right i want you to just choose any one of them for me any one of them yeah be careful uh, what you choose, because remember, your present relies on this card. We'll go for the seven. The seven yeah. of, of spades, was yeah. it? Yeah. Right? So, seven of spades. Or oh, near the top, actually. That was lucky. So, you chose the seven of spades. Yeah. Yeah. But, I just want to show you what you could have won. So, like I said, we've been through some of these. Yeah. Uh, speedboat. Lovely. Hell. Maybe on um, folks that are not Well, I was going to say, I live near the coast, so... Uh, oh, Cartier earrings. Maybe one for Debbie. Yeah. Uh, champagne, home sound system, uh, mortgage paid for a year, brand new Mini Cooper. Uh, and obviously, if you'd have chosen a red card, Jack of Hearts, you would have had... Uh, oh, Cadbury chocolate for a year. Yeah, lovely. Eight of spades, just one off. You would have had £300 in cash. At three of diamonds, you would have had seven nights in Las Vegas. Lovely. You know, the prizes are really good. Oh, I'm excited. Um, so, like I said, you've been working really hard. Yeah. Let's have a look what you've won. I can't believe you did that. I I'm don't so want to. I'm so disappointed now. <laughs> I know. Well, the thing is, it just goes to show maybe I'll give you another chance to win a prize. Okay. All you right. never know. Yeah. But um, I don't know. I do feel bad, obviously. But no, you don't. Give you a hug. Oh, that okay. was in the small print, a little hug. L a little there you go. <laughs> uh, but no, as you can see, it's just a fun trick. It's light-hearted, and even though, yeah, it is kind of a not in-your-face thing, but it, it doesn't come across that way, Jamie. It's just a bit of a laugh. Yeah. Um, it is no doubt that it is one of those things that you've got to choose the right audience to do yeah, it Yeah, exactly. Yeah. However, um, you know, at least it has a, a kind of magical payoff, or it has a yeah. magical payoff. Um, so super easy to do in stock now yeah. uh, grab them before they run out because um, as I understand you know they um, they are in short supply still um, e even though we have stocks of them currently I think they went out of stock before and we mm. were waiting a little while for them um, so uh, sweet FA deck on our site now uh, bargain uh, custom printed cards at £30 so that is yep. truly a, a bargain um, and um, add them to your uh, repertoire now yeah lovely so, Harry, mm. uh, I know that um, your dad is busy, busy, busy preparing for uh, a couple of weeks' time. Um, he's going up to London to mm. be part of the Magic Road Show. Absolutely. He's so, excited. Yeah, um, I don't know whether you guys are aware, uh, but over in the States, um, they do a, like a Magic Road Show uh, that has people like Mark Mason and Paul Richards involved with it. Um, they, from what I understand, I've never attended one absolutely are brilliant mm, um, yeah. lots of people are raving about them they get to see stuff that um, they don't get to see you know on video uh, and uh, possibly things that haven't even been released yet yeah that's the good thing about it. I do think they they kind of it's not like a it's not a tester but they they always go up with all their new stuff yeah and they you get literally so many people turn out I can't remember what Mark said but he told me how many people turn up and it's ridiculous yeah it's crazy um, so if you are about and you want to go and see um, the likes of Mark Mason and Paul Richards who mm. don't very rarely get over to I mean I know that Mark comes over and I think Paul comes over for maybe Blackpool yeah um, but you don't get to see him really over here in the UK um, this is 
as far as I'm aware, the first time that they've done it here in the UK. I may be wrong, uh, but if you've never attended one before, now's your chance mm -hmm. um, because um, it, it proves to be s such a unique day. Uh, and you guys that, um, that go along, uh, you may not be aware of this, um, but once you purchase your tickets, you go along to it, um, which is in London on the 29th of September. Um, details, I'm sure mm. uh, you'll manage to find out, but uh, they'll be on Magic Week, of course. And it's a Sunday. And it's a Sunday. Um, but you're also in for a chance of winning a Lazander floating table. Oh, right yeah. There. So um, a classy, amazing piece of magic uh, that could be yours uh, just for going along, buying tickets yeah. for the day. And the good thing is as well, guys, is it gives you a chance to, obviously you're going to be surrounded by your own kind. Yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? There's going to be so many magicians there, so you can all kind of have a jamming session uh, and obviously see what's new, see what's about, because um, I know we might be bringing some new stuff that hasn't even been seen yet. Yeah. So uh, we were not going to talk about it too much further, and we're going to leave you with this trailer. Uh, so check it out. The Real Magic Roadshow is coming your way for one day only. This is your chance to see and purchase astonishing magic performed live by the people who know these effects inside and out. This is a rare and special opportunity to get up close and personal with a select group of the industry's leading creators and producers. Each featured creator will also be presenting a short pro tip session in which they will share techniques and information on how to get the most from their prize creations. These are ideas and insights gleaned from countless performances, and it's all included in your low-cost admission. Perhaps the most incredible part is that the entire event only costs £10 to attend. But here's the real magic. If you pre-register now, you receive a £10 gift card for use with any of the dealers on the day of the event. It's like getting in for free, but this special gift is for pre-registered guests only, so you must register now. Visit realmagicroadshow.com for a complete list of dates and locations. Act now, space is limited. So there we have it. They are the details for the Real mm. Magic Roadshow. Uh, I didn't realise that um, the, the other dealers get involved, like that Card Shark. I saw Chris Smith there from yeah. Magic Smith, uh, who brought you things like Double Cross, uh, who brought you uh, Ignition. Departure, Ignition. Mm. So loads of great products. Of course, we're going to be there, yeah. uh, and there'll be other dealers there as well. So why not pop along, say hi. Um, the registration, uh, as far as we're aware, again, is what, £10? Yeah, don't quote us on that. We did just see it on the website. Like if it is ten pounds, then that is an absolute bargain. Yeah, um, but it, all of the details are on the website, so yep. check it out. Register, you will not be disappointed, and you will be in for a chance of winning a Lazanda floating table. And they are wicked. They are wicked. Yeah. So um, why not go along? Lovely. Um, right. What are we going to go talk about next? Uh, so I, I w was trying to rack my brain earlier on uh, to work out when um, Mark Paul did his academy with us. And I couldn't remember. I couldn't remember if it was last year or the year before. I think it was the year before. I might... Uh, yeah, I reckon it was. It might have been the year before. Anyway, one of the things that uh, was done in Mark Paul's Academy um, was an effect that was going to be later released as pin, pin. Oh, um, sexy isn't it? yeah do you know what um i think this is a, a truly underrated uh product a truly underrated piece of um magical apparatus mm. um i am not big on a lot of mentalism uh, there are some things that i like um and uh, you know i don't do a lot of it yeah however um occasionally what happens is i'll see a product or i'll see something and i think wow that is something I need to really mm. start doing. Yeah. yeah. Um, Paul, Mark Paul's Academy um, was by far and away one of the most successful that we had. Yeah, guys, that's what I was just going to say. If you haven't checked it out, make sure you check it out because that was our, that's our best-selling one that we yeah. ever had. And rightly so because yeah. it was chock full of the amazing reviews. ideas. And yeah, people loved it. The reviews um, were nothing but five stars. They, you know, and a true reflection of what was given on the night. Uh, and... Yeah. One, sorry, one last thing, yeah. If you go on YouTube, someone's actually done a review of the course, right? And their only negative thing about the course, guess what it was? Uh, that it, it stopped. Well, probably. But <laughs> it was that the saturation on the camera was too high, and that was my fault. But it wasn't, I didn't even notice it. So when what? you think that's the only thing negative yeah. about it... Yeah. 
then you know it's good. There's yeah. no doubt that material wise, it yeah. was it was a hundred and ten percent. It was pure incredible. Gold. Uh, and like I said, one of the things that came from that uh, was this lovely effect called Pin. Um, let's check it out with Mark Paul in the trailer. You have a secret. It's a secret that you haven't told anyone. It's a secret that you don't tell your best mate. You probably don't even tell your partner. You keep this secret really close to your chest. What am I talking about? I'm talking about your PIN, your personal identification number. It is a secret that you really do hold dear. The thing is, I know your secret. So welcome to PIN. Now what I've created here is a brand new concept in mentalism. Uh, what you do is you have somebody uh, come up on stage or you can perform this in close-up parlor situation and they write their PIN number on a card and it's inserted into this envelope. You can clearly show both sides of the envelope before the card is inserted and after the card is inserted and yet I know exactly what your PIN number is. And of course, you're not just restricted to personal identification numbers. The spectator could think of anything, whether it's a country, whether it's their pet's name, or the first person they kissed. The important thing is that you will have instant access to that information. It's self-working, it's easy, and you're gonna love this principle. My name's Mark Paul, welcome to PIN. So that is the amazing pin by Mark Paul. A um, cu couple of really, really neat ideas on here mm. that you're given. Um, what you get is you get um, some gimmick, uh, some gimmicks, and some um, normal versions of the gimmicks. Yeah. <laughs> without giving too much away, and you also get some um, a big stack of cards mm. to, yeah. to write the information on as well. Uh, obviously, there's a full tutorial on here uh, that features ideas by uh, Mark and uh, Peter. Yeah. Um, and a couple of other. Uh, um, uh, routining ideas uh, I think it's it's great um, we can still provide uh, replacements for these uh, the replacement cards for these they're still available at the moment um, so uh, you'll find that when you're using them there are some things that you can do with them to, mm -hmm. to make them reusable um, but if not then like I said the refills are available at some point but you yeah. can also make up your own ones as well I guess yeah, exactly, um, yeah. with like logos and stuff on it should you want to customize it mm. um, PIN is amazing, uh, it's a great utility device and I'm sure that you will come up with your own ways of, of using it and performing it um, and uh, it's certainly one of my favourite mentalism tools. It is wicked and it's so devious. It, it? It's it is so, devious, it's, it is oh, devious. Wow. it's incredible. Um, just give you an idea of how devious this is, uh, I use this in a, um, in a performance at New Year's Eve last year um, and it's a, a group of people that I go and perform for every New Year's Eve or have done for the last sort of four years and um, one of the guys there, I, I chose to do one of the routining ideas uh, from this on the evening and uh, one of the guys came over, he picked up uh, the envelopes um, including the gimmick as well. Um, even though I put them away, we're talking about like after the yeah. show, you know, people mingling around in uh, the, the dining room in this house. And he literally went over, picked it up, went like that, put them down again and walked off. Um, and then for the rest of the evening, um, was completely on my back about how I managed to tell him his PIN number or the PIN number that he um, yeah. that he really thought of. Um, so um, it just tells you how devious this mm. is and how strong it plays. And I will just say the envelopes are, they're not paper, they're made of a nice... Yeah, they're kind of like a type of material. Yeah, so exactly, so they, all, they should last you yeah, yeah. quite a while. Ideal for close-up, ideal for stage, ideal for parlour, very, very easy to do, uh, and PIN can be something that you will own now. I think it's about time we did the Andy versus Harry challenge. What do you reckon? Yeah, right then. Let's go to VT. This is today's Andy versus Harry challenge. Uh, this was suggested to us by Neil Bird. 
Uh, and uh, Neil, um, thank you very much for sending it through. Mm. And uh, you do uh, well. You should have already had your deck of academy elites. Yep. Uh, they are on their way to you if you haven't. Um, so the challenge. Oh. So Neil said to hold a dozen decks of bikes at arm's length to see who could hold them up the longest. <laughs> yeah. All right. And uh, originally he said about two dozen at arm's length yeah yeah and i kind of dismissed it a little bit however um you tried it out yeah uh, one dozen is not yeah with not chris enough. in in the shop yeah. uh mr mega hands out there um who you know um he he totally gone past the timer totally gone past the timer so uh harry said why don't we do it with two dozen mm. so today's andy versus harry challenge and it is truly a challenge today is yeah. for us to hold two dozen decks of bicycle cards yeah. at arm's length for as long as we can yep yeah. yeah and also just saying there we're going to be using blue blue decks blue decks just in case you're wondering what colour <laughs> alright <laughs> that will come up so we're doing this standing up I've got my two dozen yeah we can do probably. okay let's stand up let's stand up I think it's I think right. it's car blimey Blimey, blimey O'Reilly. Right guys, just so to make you aware, I send out, because obviously I'm the male guy here. Uh, well, we're both male. One of them. We're both male. <laughs> um, I'm going to go send stuff out. These will weigh about 2.4 kg. Yes. In total. So, we're going to do this. Yeah. So and we're, we're going to use left arm just so it'll be quick. We're going to do, do this with left arm, all right? And um, we're, whoever buckles first yeah. loses. Yeah. Okay. Right. All right, and we've got a maximum time. Uh, will last about a minute and a bit, I reckon. Okay, all right, so as we'll get the timer up on the screen. Yep. Oh, do you want to move a bit to the edge? Oh, the timer will come up there. there. Okay, oh, look at that. Yeah, so timer's up on the screen. Hang on, I'm already wasting energy. Okay, all right, so we'll go on the count of three. So yep. one, two, three, and then go. Yeah? Yep. One, two, three. We really should have some music playing at this moment. Yeah, that's good. Doom, put on. Do, 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 do. Is your arm bent? Do, 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 I, just, do, 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 I can try it straight now. Do, 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 do. Oh, I can feel the pressure. Yeah, same. I can feel the pressure. This is embarrassing. It is embarrassing. Also, that's not a bent arm, that's just a big bicep. <laughs> oh, I swear right, to God, okay. no, I swear down. Look. Big bicep. I swear down. If you, I swear that's I don't not know if you guys can hear this, right? But Chris is... Oh, look, the arm's yeah, the going. Side of the, arm's <laughs> going. <laughs> the arm's going. Oh, you cheat. You, like, bend your arm and then put it back again. No, I didn't mean to. Right, is that because Chris is, like, killing himself laughing next door at, at, at the weakness that is exposed to the arm? Mr. Mr. Strong Arms out there. There you go, I'm done. You're done? No, I'm, like, I'm, I'm cozy now. Oh, right, okay. Uh, God. Done. Da, da, dum, 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 da. Oh, my arm's starting to bend a little bit. Sorry, wanted to... The... Holy... <laughs> Holy smoke! <laughs> Come on, you can do it. No! <laughs> <laughs> Feel the burn! Oh, Feel well. the burn! Feel the burn! I'm going to buckle, I'm going to buckle. Oh, no, come on. Uh, buckle! <laughs> what was your record, Chris? Uh, oh, over two minutes. Over two... Oh, good. <laughs> Oh, that's hurting. Oh, that's hurting. Oh, that's hurting. Oh. <laughs> oh, lactic acid burn. I tell you what, right? If we get past, if we get past. I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop for a second. No. Right. Over two set. Over two minutes. Oh with Chris. God. Over two Bloody minutes. Hell. Hang on. Right. I've only got like three seconds to like, let me go over two minutes. Two minutes. Yeah. Oh. Bloody hell. Wow. Two minutes two. Oh God. Right. Let's Bloody let's hell. just compose ourselves for just to say. Honestly, this arm. Oh, look. This is what it feels like. Yeah. I feel like you know in Harry Potter, yeah, where his arms like this. Oh, that's what I feel like. Oh, oh dear. So right, you thought the fluffy bunny challenge was difficult, right? Mm. I reckon the next live we get your dad and Dave oh. doing this. Yeah. Yeah. That, they'll probably show us up, won't they? Yeah, that's absolutely. They'll probably show us up. Okay, let's close ourselves in, please. Just here. Oh. 
God, I can't even lift the chair. Jesus. Wow. So, hello. <laughs> how is this out of breath? How is this out of breath? I don't hello. know. I don't know. But suffice to say uh, that um, well done, old, older wins. So, there we go. And the versus. Oh, look. I can't. Uh, uh, <laughs> I can't oh, it down. Yeah. Oh, oh, Bloody yeah. hell! So, oh, Thanks, so Neil. That was that was truly challenging. Mm. Um, truly challenging. Uh, so thank you for sending that in. I would suggest that you guys, you know, uh, you try this out, and we would love to see the videos of people doing this. Yeah, right. That would be um, fun. Properly doing this, holding it at arm's length, two dozen bicycle decks uh, or decks of cards. Yeah, yeah, um, and then yeah, see how long you can. Uh, can last mm. all right um i oh, managed yeah. to get to just over two minutes i managed to get to just over two yeah minutes. I've got, well i got what did i what did i get two one minute 50 right one minute 45 you say that as if it's an achievement you still lost yeah that's true actually there we go um <laughs> i'm sorry Harry. no yeah. um do you know what it was fun it was fun Thank you, Neil, for suggesting that. But we we would love to see you do it, including yeah. you, Neil. Right? Yeah. If you've set the challenge down on the table, then you've got to send in the video <laughs> for us. Yeah. So send it in uh, to sales at alakasam.co.uk, yeah. and who knows, uh, we may pop that up on yeah. Andy versus Harry challenge a little bit later on no. in the series. Um, can I just say something as well? What's that? Um, you know your pen. Mm. Yeah. Yes. Um, we had a customer ring up called Ken Ashburn. Yes. Right. And he is 82 years old. Right. Right. And um, he messaged in, he rang up, actually, he didn't message in, he rang up, and he said, guess what? What? That was the first trick I saw that got me into magic. Was it really? Yeah. And it, he got showed it by someone at the something Mystic League. Oh, yes. In Blackburn. Yeah. Um, modern, mis mystic, modern Mystic League, modern yeah, mystic in Blackburn, league. 61 years ago. Wow. Yeah, um, and he saw it, and the guy done it on an empty cigar box. Right, okay. Uh, with a sharp pencil. Right, okay, which was the original was done with a, with a yeah. sharp pencil. And he remembered the name. Now, I've forgotten the first name, but I know his surname was like Baxendale or Bexendale or something right. like that. Right, okay. Um, and yeah, how crazy is that? Yeah, so uh, if you want to know how that is done, mm. uh, then yours truly, uh, along with Harry, uh, Chris and Dave, uh, filmed a video which should be uh, up in your, or, or up to purchase on our site uh, by the by early next week yep. uh, I know that uh, Peter's got a busy weekend ahead of him um, but he is hoping to get it up over the weekend up on the site and uh, yeah so uh, all being well that'll be up to purchase very soon mm. uh, it'll be the spirit pen effect yep. um, that I performed on one of the vlogs a short while ago that caused all the uproar and um, yeah and some choice effects by Harry uh, Dave mm. and Chris as well so check it out um, I don't have a price just yet but whatever it will be it will be a, a decent price and you will learn some great yeah. proper magic uh, lovely jumbly um, so just before we move off of the Harry versus Ar Andy challenge I'm there not going to rub it in anymore are you? no Bloody I think I think you know it speaks for itself Can I, I actually was holding 13 decks just realised oh right okay no, I'm joking. Yeah, oh, well. what are you going to say? Um, <laughs> what I was going to say is that uh, we did have another submission, um, which was from Rich Gerrish. So congratulations, Rich. Um, send me in your address and I'll get a deck of Academy Elites out in the post to you. Uh, Rich's idea uh, was for us to come up with a two-person coding uh, effect. Mm. Now, um, I can't remember, I don't know if he was specific whether we had to come up with it between the two of us, i.e. that we would do a two-person coding type uh, effect uh, between the two of us, mm. or whether you would pick someone and I would pick someone and then we would do a two-person coding effect with our respective personage. Um, so I oh. think that what we'll do is we will... Um, We'll have a chat about that. We'll see the way that we're going to approach it. But I think it's a really good idea. I think it's a really I think it's unique, really cool uh, idea that probably hasn't been explored by very many people, certainly not in this sort of format before. Um, so uh, we're going to check that out, um, a two-person coding uh, type effects, uh, and uh, just our thoughts on, on that. So well done, Rich. Um, it's very good. Uh, and remember to send in your address. Mm, that's... Mm, I know. That's... 
bloody good. Yeah, I know. So something a bit different. Um, but yeah, more on that you're, on the oh, next vlog. You're not going to see any of this, let me tell you. Yeah, yeah no, you're not going to see any of that. <laughs> Although it has a bloody good code map, isn't it? Yeah, it is. A, yeah, brilliant. So anyway, um, yeah, the right. um, uh, what I was going to say is that um, there is uh, one more thing that we wanted to just talk about today uh, before we wrap up, and that is that last week we had uh, Jan Hardin's, uh, Hardy's amazing uh, two-day course at his academy um, from the car table to the magic world. Uh, it was a resounding success. Lots of people got lots of great information from mm. that, uh, and we had a great time here. You guys obviously loved it because you were popping up reviews for it and saying how much you enjoyed uh, not only the content but the sort of stuff that we've discussed yeah. as well. Um, so that was very, very encouraging and most appreciated uh, keep it up if you've not seen the uh, course uh, it is back up to its um, two day price its original price uh, but honestly for the amount of magic and talk that you, we go through um, you know te techniques and ideas that you may not have explored before it is certainly worth uh, the price as it is now yeah definitely uh, that said uh, we also called Yan to um, film a bonus uh, download with us it's puck up uh, so before we get on to that, uh, which is Jan Hardy's 10 card poker deal, uh, it just leaves me to say uh, thank you so much for joining us on this week's Alakazam video blog. If you enjoyed what you see, please put up reviews. Uh, if you have any questions, then please email them into sales mm. at alakazam.co.uk. Uh, and if you ever want to chat to us about anything that you've seen or any other things that you would like to see, then by all means give us a call uh, on mm. the uh, shop number. Yeah, and let us know if you're going to the Magic Road Show because it would be wicked to meet you. Yes. Um, so uh, that's it for me and Harry. Uh, we'll join, join us next time on the Alcassan Video Blog and we will leave you with Jan Hardy's 10 card poker deal. Harry. All right. I know you play poker because you play with me and you play with the family. And I play well. You do play well. Not bad. Well, I'm going to show you. You know everyone says all your aunties always go, oh, don't play cards with Peter and all this. So I'm going to show you how you can cheat at poker. Oh, all right. you've been cheating this whole time? Mm. Right, so we're going to play, the game we usually play is Texas Hold'em. Right. All right, so we're going to do a 10 hand game of Texas okay. Hold'em. You know how to play Texas Hold'em, so yeah. we're going to deal out to the 10 players. Okay, uh, and you get two cards each, yeah? Yep. Now you can choose any one of the hands to be you. So we're going to concentrate on just one hand, all right? Yeah. So if I was to cheat at poker, obviously I wouldn't want to deal myself the winning cards all the time because then people think it's a bit yeah. suspicious. So you have a partner and that's who you deliver the cheating winning hand to, oh. all right? Yeah. So you're going to choose. It could be player one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, or 10. Which one would you like? Four, furthest one away. Four, take those. Yep. Happy? Yep. Okay, so we're gonna pick up these, they're not needed, and do me a favor, have a look. We'll get rid of those. Um, have oh. a look at your card. It doesn't matter if I see them. Okay. Perfect. So put them down, what have we got? King of Nine. Okay, so let's say that you were my partner. Yep. Um, and I know that you've got the king and nine because I've dealt them to Okay, them. yeah. Yeah. So now I'm going to shuffle the cards and I'm going to try and get you a good hand out of this. Now, it's, I, I will say that during a game of poker, you don't usually have to shuffle a lot, but I'm going to have to shuffle a bit on this because it's easier to do it with 10 cards or 10 players because there's more cards in play. Yeah. But doing it with just one player and making sure I get specific cards is obviously a lot mm. harder. All right, so we are going to... First of all, um, I need to locate certain cards. This is tough. I think I've done it. So the first thing we do is we burn and then we deal out a flop. Yeah? So if this has worked, we should get a 10 should get a four. So straight away, you've almost got a flush. And the jack will make it a flush. Now that's pretty good. Yeah, I could good, stop yeah. there, but I actually wanted something better mm. for you. So the next card, remember we burn a card and the next card we get is an ace of spades. 
I don't know if you can see where this might be going. Kind of, yeah. Now, usually at this point, we'd have to deal, but I want to get you the best hand possible. And what would be the best hand possible? Royal flush. A royal flush. Yeah. Now, when I was shuffling, I did spot the queen, but because I only gave it one shuffle, I couldn't get it in position. So if you will allow me, I think I remember exactly where it is, I'm gonna to cut to it. Okay. Yeah? Yeah. That should be the queen Bang. giving us the 10, the jack, the queen, the king, and of course the ace. And that is why you don't play cards with your old dad. Bloody hell. That's good, mate. It's nice.